Hello everyone, welcome back to Walk With Me Gaming. Today we are going to do a bunch of Flash games. Um, I have no idea which ones we're going to do in this video, but I know we're starting with this one. So um, this is The Legend of Zelda and the Lampshade of No Real Significance. <laughs> um, this, I, I'm pretty sure this video I'm going to be doing will be more along the lines of um, parody games of like popular titles, just because there's a bunch and I think it's a good experience and this is really loud for me. <laughs> I'm gonna just turn that down a little bit for myself. Um, but I realized again that we are now in November and Flash is gonna be basically shut down at the end of um, this year. So I figured that we should really do a few more of these before they go away. I know there is an effort to um, to to uh, archive these and make them playable in the future, but um, it might be complicated. So you know, websites like Congregate and Newgrounds um, are having to transition a lot of things. So that's uh, that's kind of the tough part. <laughs> Bag of money. So um, this game is pretty much just a trading quest game. Um, it's got the same kind of silly logic as like uh, in in games like uh, um, like classic adventure games and stuff like that. So it's just a short little funny experience. Um, but this was really a, a good representation of like what the world of Flash animation and Flash games was like, which was essentially tons and tons of parody. So, um, you know, pretty, pretty much everything, like animation especially, like every now and then like they made like real, like original characters for show, for stuff, but um, generally the, the most popular stuff was always uh, parody. And so when you get something like this, okay trying to remember what the order of things is here so I've got my money here and I need to s turn it into something because that fat guy ate all the burgers <sighs> you've got a big bag of money <laughs> by a revolution I wonder I mm, I think the revolution was the name they were given the Wii before it came out <laughs> where are we take girly hair products <laughs> um, I do not know who all these characters are specifically, but I'm pretty sure they're all references to stuff on like Newgrounds and just internet culture of the age, which age-wise, I'm pretty sure this was early to mid 2000s. So this is, um, you know, has this age well? No, but no, no Flash games really did. Well, there's a few that did, but tiny extreme iron, deadly if swallowed. All right, so don't don't eat that. Uh, let's see. So where do we gotta go with this? Hi there. Yeah. Glad you enjoyed your burger. Now I can't use it. Um. You're working on games. Yeah, I'm pretty sure some of these are references to, like, actual people. But, um, yeah. D just the silliness of games like this was always a funny thing. Um. No buckets. You need a bucket. All right. Um, any buckets over here? What in the world? Hi there. What's this little iron? Uh, All right. Don't know why he. Don't know why he ate the iron, but uh, it said don't eat it. <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. So that's obviously uh, Dante from. Uh, um, oh, what is it? It's, it was it was made by the same guys who made the Metal Gear Solid thing. Oh, what was it called? It's not Dante's Inferno. I should know this. Um, well, uh, that's that's just me not knowing my games. Oh, Devil May Cry. Duh. Got it. Remember. Hey, this will work. Get some water. And I got a frog. <laughs> and we know some guy wants a frog, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I think. Oh. Oh wait, I remember now. He he likes the frog, but he's not gonna. He he doesn't want it. Um, I did make sure to play this ahead of time because this game takes about five minutes to play, 
Um, but when you don't know what you're doing, um, it takes significantly longer. <laughs> and of course, Snake from Metal Gear Solid, uh, because that is obviously the very popular um, choice of games to parody in, uh, in the world of um, Flash stuff. I just always think of uh, the classic Ego Raptor, Metal Gear, Metal Gear Awesome series. Face paint, and he gave me a taser. Well, fantastic. Um, but it was, uh, you know, like stuff like that was just easy to parody, and video game parodies were very popular, especially. So it just kind of made sense, all fit together. Hi there. Water didn't wake, wake him up. I guess we'll just electrocute him. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> Time Crisis. Ooh, that's a classic. Oh, thank you. I can take the light gun. It looks almost real. And who could this go to? Probably the guy who misses guns. This was the part that got me stuck because I completely forgot this guy was there. So, what did you... Oh, yeah, the shovel. Excellent. Great for grave diggers and zombies. Oh, right, right. Dig the grave. <laughs> Yes, this is what we're getting to. Um, yeah, but th this was, I mean, when, when this came out, I, this was the kind of stuff where I was like, you can play a free game and, and just, like, you don't have to do anything, you just, you just play it on your computer, this is awesome, and, of course, now it's like, this is so simple, it seems like something a child would make in, like, a intro to programming class, but, um, but back, back in the day, this was like... You can you can make a Legend of Zelda game on here. This is this is ridiculous. We got a burger. Yeah, made of human meat. That's just excellent. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, and here we go. And of course he died from eating human meat because it's horrifying. Uh, we enter the temple. <laughs> <laughs> we perfect perfected the room's feng shui. And that is it. That is the whole... Ooh, that that was kind of strong. Um, yeah, but that that is... Uh, that's it for <laughs> Legend of Zelda and the lampshade of whatever. Um, I, will, I will tell you, if you want to play this game before Flash goes away, um, there are some websites, for some reason, this doesn't work every time. Like, the pressing the space bar to, like, defeat the, the monster at the beginning doesn't work. Um, don't know why, but just some websites are weird. But, um, so that's that. So that's it for this one. Obviously, this is uh, only a few minutes in, so we're going to do a few more in this and just kind of clump them all together um, and see what we get. So um, I'll be back in a moment with something new. All right, welcome back everybody. So as I said, we were kind of doing uh, I guess not necessarily parody game, but a uh, remake kind of style of game. This one uh, blew me away. So this is Portal, the Flash version. You all know about the game Portal from Valve. Um, well, when so when this came out, um, I was in th this came out in 2007. Um, and I was a Mac user, so I had to play Portal on my brother's Xbox. Um, and so when I left for college, all I had was my computer, so I had no option for that. So it was a little disappointing. But then I found this, and this came out in 2007, and Steam did not uh, appear on Macs until 2010. So for the time being, this was my substitute. Um, <clears throat> I know uh, some people would make jokes how like this is a, a poor man's portal and yeah kind of um, or just you don't have a system that runs it um, but I mean for this being made in flash I am still impressed with how well this actually worked the fact that they were able to get the physics to work on this is still kind of shocking to me honestly like this is this this is no easy task to do um, Although I can't say I've ever actually made a Flash game, so I can't tell you 100% that true, but, um, I mean, sure seems difficult to me. Seriously. Let's just do this. There we go. Um, but, I mean, this is, 
for, you know, like the... Oop, I'm gonna do that a few times. Oop, oh gosh. What did I... Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Oh gosh. What the... Oh, I shot it on the wrong side. Um, okay, there we go. I didn't know I could do that. Um, but for, I mean, how simple this is in terms of production, it really, it genuinely worked. And that, that part seriously was shocking. Um, nice thing with this is that, um, the weird thing with this, and I, and I promise you, I will click the wrong mouse button a couple times because, um, your expectation is, uh, you, you shoot both portals with the same mouse button, which is unlike real portal when you, when you play on a computer because you shoot them with, uh, with the left and right mouse buttons, so it's kind of uh, kind of confusing at times. Um, there we go. Same uh, same physics stuff. All the same good stuff. Oh, oh, oops. There we go. Um, do I want to? Oh, there we go. A little higher. Um, <clears throat> trying to think like what what there is to be said otherwise about this i mean it's just a well-made ah! whoops okay well that happened <laughs> yeah and i did exactly what i said i was gonna do Oof. i'm not panicking fast enough <laughs> gotta move a little quicker Gonna have to be quicker this time. Oh, and there I go. <laughs> Moving objects, always the toughest thing in uh, this game. Oof. Um, but there's 40 levels in this. Um, there's obviously, there's only 20 in real portal. However, most of the real portal levels take uh, significantly longer to play than this game. So, you know. Gotta get through that. Oh, uh. Ah, my reaction time was good, but my timing was not. There we go. Okay. So this one, we want to... Let's see. Ah, just not quite fast enough. Uh, too fast. <laughs> Obviously, the... Like the actual timing and stuff on these games, not not like perfect, but uh, you know they'll do. Ugh. Again. <sighs> Seriously? Ah, yeah. So, <laughs> um, I don't know what else. Um, I mean, I. I feel, I feel like this is me trying to, uh, you know, sing the praises of these games, even though I'm kind of, A, doing bad at them, and B, showing that there's a bit of shoddy design. But, um, I mean, that's just kind of the, the trade-off you got. Like, these are free games. These are fan-made projects. And I just screwed up again. <sighs> All right. Let's see if I can do this right. Nope, 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 no. Okay. That was weird. No! Oh, are you serious? Okay. Oof, okay. Okay. What's, what's the highest I can do here? There we go. Got through it. Knew, knew I'd get there eventually. Oh, crap. Um... I gotta get over that. Um, oh, I think I know what to do. I mean, that was close. <laughs> just, just wrong. <laughs> Again, wrong. <laughs> All right. want to kind of keep doing this so I want the yellow one um, let's see that's that's the this oh, 
for? Are you serious? I had it. Um, let's see. Ow. Too slow. the yellow. There we go. Alright, we got there. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think blue plasma was. So obviously, uh, this being, you know, a flash game, they kind of had to up the puzzles a little bit, so not everything is the same as in the actual game, but um, these were some clever, clever designs. So like, oh, I did it again. So like these ones, you can shoot portals through, but not walk through. Like, that's a pretty, uh, that's a clever idea. And it's just these. And then a bit of that. Um, maybe. Or maybe that. Okay, so this, I just gotta move quickly, put the portal, and then go on through. Easy. Smashy spike plates! Okay, um... Mm. Okay. Let's see... How far can I just do it like this? Okay. Yep, there we go. Success. I don't know. Uh, red ones, that kills you. Yep. <laughs> so these are basically emancipation grids. <laughs> Same concept, just more deadly. Easy enough. Oh. Ah, okay. Um, I'm trying to think. So this is, this is what, like 10 minutes in? Let's get to level 20. And then that'll be that'll be it. That'll be good. That'll give us a, a good idea of the game, and the gameplay itself, and just uh, letting you guys get a sampling of this. So um, there we go. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do a third game after this. So ooh, okay, how do I do this? Okay, I think I see. Yep. And then, there we go. And just don't die on this. Perfect. <laughs> oh, and now we're learning button techniques as as one of the the staples of uh, oh god of Portal is use of buttons. Fantastic. Oh, but I, but this one doesn't work. How do I do it? Obviously, use of portals. Um, they, I think they do a pretty good job in teaching this the same way as they would teach in uh, actual portal. Look at this. Even, even these. Like these are factors that, like when I played this, I was like, how in the heck did they manage to figure this out? It's crazy. There we go. Fix that right up. Perfection. <laughs> like, these are just, like, surprisingly well-developed, like, concepts. I, I really am impressed with this, like, how, how well this works all together. Easy enough. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, this one. So this is an interesting one, because I have to... Place the portal, and then place another portal. Okay. Place the oh. Okay. Okay. I think I got it. And then do this. Okay. So when it goes through, then I want to put a blue portal down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this one explode so we have more time. 
How do we do this without getting hit? Ow. Oh no. No, don't hit me. D get it. Get it. Don't explode. Yes! <laughs> okay, maybe we will just do all of them. Screw it. I'm having fun with this. It's gonna be a longer one. There's there's so many Flash games out there. Like, there, there's so much potential. Um, okay. Will this work? Will this go through? It sure will! <laughs> I'm like, oh dear. Uh, hmm. Okay. Okay, so I need to do that. And I also need to get in there. Oh, I know. I'll go in first. And then do this. And then we'll do this. Perfection. Okay, wait, did I need two or something? Okay, that's weird. There we go. Uh, oh, right. Let's see. Oh, oh, there we go, okay. Yes, awesome. We're so smart! Companion cube! Oh boy. Let's just add more finicky stuff. Now we actually have to carry things, but of course we cannot shoot portals and carry things at the same time, so we have to be cautious. Oh, oops. F. F for... Everyone, everyone hit your Fs for, uh, uh, for the, the, com for the cube. Got it. Nope, nope, get on the button. There we go. Nope. <laughs> no. Stay. Finicky controls. There we go. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's do this. got two things but now we gotta do this I feel like I'm not I'm not uh, saying much on this cuz it's kind of like if you played portal you know what the gameplay is so you don't have to really ask questions about that um, but it's still uh, its own special thing so like this, this still is definitely some some of the puzzle games that came out during like the era of Flash are, were actually really good. Like they they had to they made you think in a little in a different style than you normally would with this kind of stuff. So let's get you drop you here. Oh. Wait, does it destroy things? Nope. Okay, that's why. Oh shoot. We should have gone for the other one first. That's okay. Okay. So I need this. And this. Oh, I got close there. Nope. At least you can't, like, drop it in a way that makes it impossible. So that's nice. Sweet. Oof. <laughs> don't fall on the, don't fall on the red. Um, oh, how do I do that? Ooh, look at, look at that timing. Someone is majorly skilled. <laughs> okay. Um, how do I? What does this button do? What does this button do? Does it only work if there's two things? Oh, oh, I see. Oh, crap. So how do I get up there? Oh, okay. I, I got it. I got this. I'm a smarty. Oh. Oops. Okay. I like how that does open up, like, as a way of saying, like, you kind of trapped yourself. <laughs> okay, so 
now we shoot up there. And we do this. So we gotta get through here. Stand on that, of course. Move that a little farther. <laughs> Almost screwed that up. Uh, okay. Alright. Definitely want let's put let's put that over. Mm. That should be fine. Alright, perfect. Uh well, I hope I can make this jump. I can't. Mm. It's doing so good. Let's try this again. Okay, let's see here. Let's see if I can just drop it and grab it. Okay. Maybe I can jump this. Seriously? We're, we're gonna get this. We're, we're gonna get this. We're so close now. We're three quarters of the way there. We're, we're gonna beat this. I know we can. We are test subject number whatever, and we've got this. We are skilled in our abilities. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's a little close. Okay. Oh, really? Well, that that just that just sucks. Okay, maybe this is where we'll get stuck. <laughs> what the? Okay. Oh, why are you having so much trouble? All right, we'll get this like two more tries. If we don't get it, then we're just done. So, um, because there's always more games to play. All right. Um. Portal. Portal. What is there about Portal? I do wish I could play actual Portal with you guys, um, which right now is blocked off because it's not a 64-bit game and Mac is stupid. Um, you know, I hate to say it, but it's true because they, they really screwed the pooch on this one. Okay, I knew we could make that jump. Thank goodness. Okay. Stay. And how do I how do I make that jump? Do, can I jump that? Hope so. <laughs> I'm like, oh crap. Ah, good. Well, at least we got to this. Uh, definitely don't want to go on without without uh fighting these robots. I get, yes, I can. All right. Oh boy. Um. Oof. Oh no! Really? Okay. We gotta figure out a... Uh, I think we just gotta die. Oof. Okay, we got we got real lucky there. <laughs> I can't believe we didn't die, but that's fine. We made it. Now we're combining all things. Uh, energy balls may not deserve it, but they sure help with dis disabling them. They, I bet they do. All right. Let's get let's get that then. Yes. 
Hmm. Oh gosh, I thought that was a wall. I was mistaken. <laughs> Success. Okay. Stand to activate. Um, what if I don't wanna? Okay, let's see here. Okay. Um. Oh no! Ooh. Ooh, we got, oh, we got lucky there. Oh, I got lucky there. Oof, oh my gosh. I was nearly destroyed. Uh. Oh, crap. Well. Okay. Well, at least I still got my cube, so I guess we're okay. Yeah, got our cube still. So I guess we're okay. Okay. Oh, I can pick them up. Sweet. Oh, well, that's, that's helpful to know. Uh, the cube falls into darkness. We'll send you another through the machine above your head. Well, that's good. I, I kind of need that assistance. So, and, well, and now that we've learned that, let's do some uh, clearing out. <laughs> oh, gosh. Forgot about you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. All right, well, that's fine. Um, okay. safe here. Apparently. Well, that's good, at least. <laughs> Not quite. No! I was so close. Alright, I think I'm done here. Um, I don't remember the ending. I'm pretty sure you die, because you have to. So, um, But I think 20, 20 minutes of this is enough. So, um... I that might be it um, if this is the end of the video thank you all for watching and uh, come back for more there is plenty more things for me to show you um, and check out my other videos as well if this is not the end then we are gonna jump to something right now okay so we have one last game that I'm doing in this and I'm just gonna do the first level of it because it's pretty awesome so this one is um, so first we did we did the Legend of Zelda, we did Portal, and then this one is not specifically the game that it's referencing, but it is a very close representation of it. So um, the game we are doing is called Air, and this game is essentially uh, a Flash version of Shadow of the Colossus. So it is pretty cool. Um, it's it's a neat concept. It's it's you know very simplified as it's a flash game, and that's kind of what we expect at this point. But um, it really works with I think the grand scale of things. <laughs> like look at that. That's great. That's so smart to like have. It basically is just one big platformer um, of you climbing the monster, just like in. Uh, Real Shadow of the Colossus. The only, uh, the main difference with this is that uh, you don't really have any kind of stamina meter for like climbing. Uh, you do have a health bar and you do have uh, oxygen. So if you are in the water for too long, you can die that way. But otherwise, I mean, it's just, it's pretty much the same concept. It's you're just a guy who is trying to climb up this big monster um, for some reason, and I fought, I failed. Well, that, that was 
Well, and that's and there's a checkpoint system, which is also nice. So you don't have to do the whole thing over again, which I believe is the case for actual Shadow of the Colossus. Um, watch out for those puffer things. <laughs> of course, I was right next to a checkpoint too, so. Oh, <laughs> I should really look before I leap, but uh, you know that's boring. Um, but it's nice that you get to like zoom out on this, um, but and it gives you just enough of a view, but. You rarely get to see the whole monster at once, which is uh, cool. It gives a neat sense of scale to it. So um, I don't know. I just thought that this was a great, um, a great little adaptation of a game. And this was another example of, you know, I didn't have a PlayStation, so I had I had this, and uh, for the most part, this worked pretty well, and I was happy with it. Uh, the story is definitely not as strong as. Uh, the actual Sh Shadow of the Colossus game. In fact, the story is actually kind of kind of crap, um, but that's fine. It, again, it's just it's more of the the whole thing that we're embracing. See, like that's so cool. Like it gives you that view of the the whole monster for a moment as you're falling, and you're like, I'm gonna die, but nope, you're gonna make it. Um, <laughs> but I just love this. Um, it was just a, a cool way to play a game when you didn't have the ability to and um, I feel like nowadays between the fact that everyone has a cell phone and there's a million games on those and like you know, I'm pretty sure more than ever more people own consoles so I mean and every computer or Mac or PC it doesn't matter what it is they all pretty much play stuff now so I think the 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 need for flash games it is not is not really as present anymore you know like flash games were a great alternative for people who didn't have a lot of cash who could uh, you know play these alternative games and still get kind of a similar experience um, but I don't know it's it, it's kind of a lost art form and it was a neat way for people to do uh, you know test out and learn how to program and how to put together a system and all that other stuff. So, I mean, I, I, I will still always res have respect for these games. And uh, I think next week I've got a couple collections that I would like to play through um, that all fit together in a common theme too. So, um, but this is this is us wrapping up. Um, and this is So like I said, this is the first level. There's only three levels in this. You can beat it in like 20 minutes, but, um, but it was just a fun experience. So, I love these little parodies. Um, I think it's a cool experience, and um, I, I encourage people to go out and play a bunch of Flash games, go on Newgrounds, go on Congregate, go on Homestar Runner, um, and just play these games while you can because they're going away, and I don't know how many they're going to be able to archive in places or how they're going to be able to be played later, but um, it's kind of one of those things of once they're gone, they're gone, and that's it. So. Um, We'll just have to see. But next week, I'll have... I think I'm going to do another theme, another collection that's uh, that's got a similar feel to things. Um, but until then, check out my other videos. And thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye.